This one is unique. Get it? Pun? Um, no. <laughs> We're implementing a type version of lodash.uniq. Uh, it takes an array t and returns the array without repeated values. So kind of like how you use a set in a lot of, or hash set in a lot of languages. So we can just jump right in. I think we have an array here with one, one, two, two, three, three. And what we expect back is an array with one, two, three. And this works for numbers or, I mean, here we have, uh, <laughs> this is a fun one. We have like type level elements, string and number, and then the number one, and then the string A, all kinds of things, objects probably, uh, whatever can work inside there. I do want to tell you, uh, you guys are at a bit of a disadvantage on this one because uh, with somebody else, I did one of the prior challenges, includes, and I'm going to start you off right out the gate by giving includes. The, uh, the rule of the roads for how we've been doing the challenges so far is if we solved something in a prior challenge and we want to use it, we can use it. So it's your lucky day. I'm not going to force you to figure That's out how to do includes in the same time. So... <laughs> hint hint that includes is in there somewhere but yeah where would you start i mean we can't use a generic constraint like normal because uh there is no generic constraint it the, and the values of here could be any valid typescript type um or typescript constant or whatever so uh yeah where would you go i think we're gonna need an uh, accumulator okay right so uh like normal we'll do extends unknown or uh array and so we'll initialize it. Result. Yeah. Cool. And then I mean, uh, I guess actually we can do one thing um, for the generic constraint. We know that. <coughs> excuse me. Uh, I guess we can cheers. do one thing for the generic constraint. We know that t extends unknown array. Mm -hmm. It is an array. Oops. Uh, extends. It is an array unknown k n o w n. English <laughs> is hard. Okay. Yeah. So, okay, cool. Where, and then where would you go from here? So then we need to infer head and tail again, mm -hmm. I think. Head that's our uh, that's our coffee machine doing his job. He's uh, <laughs> ready for the weekend. It's all good. <laughs> it's uh, five o'clock here. <laughs> So okay, we got our we got our head and tail. Uh, we can uh, skip ahead, I think, and probably do the the false case. So where there are when there are no more values left, mm -hmm. um, I think what would you return, return here? Accumulator, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right. Here we are. And uh, we say like uh, includes um, t. Oh, uh, I think I mean, I've led you astray. Okay, so. <laughs> we can let's try it. let's let's try it like you're saying um includes head and then in, entail i'm assuming uh no uh, accumulator i thought oh okay yeah uh, oh, i see where yeah. this is going but uh, then we need to um uh, also return unique mm -hmm. we have to recurse somewhere yeah yeah so would you do that? I guess we would do. Uh, I mean, I guess we're going to recurse in both cases. It's just that this one mm -hmm. only takes yeah. the head. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Unique head. What's going on? We got an error. Does not satisfy the constraint unknown array. Oh, because the oh tail, right to do this right 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 um tail yeah okay and then here we have another array. Like we were saying, we have to recurse both times. And th oh, this is the one that's going to pass. This is a little different than any of the... Uh, does this work? Unique head. Uh, oh, it would be tail. Three. Are we going? Nice. Okay, so I have to confess something to you. I completely led you astray. There are two main ways that people solve this, and only the first one, the one that's most obvious to me uses includes, but it turns out that you took the path with the accumulator of the one that doesn't need includes. <laughs> so I should have oh, never said oh, anything. Okay. We'll come back okay. to it. Uh, you can get to the finish line. Okay, so now that I like really confuse you. Uh, oh, but I liked includes, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, How are we uh, going I'll, to I'll show that? you. I'll show you. Uh, I'll show you a trick. Uh, so, 
you can do you can do something like this. You can say like unique and pass into the tail, and then we yeah. can say head extends. Um, if if head is a value, if if head is assignable to accumulator, yeah. meaning like we're at the end of the road. Yeah. If that's true, then like just like you said for the the false case of the first ternary, we can return the accumulator. Otherwise, we spread in the accumulator and not ActiveX object. <laughs> Again, <laughs> ActiveX <laughs> object. <laughs> okay. We we can spread in the uh we can spread in the accumulator uh j just like that. Oh, I'm sorry. I have a syntax error here. Yeah, but we need to call unique, uh, right? Which um we did. So like we called unique up here. Yeah. And mm -hmm. we're passing in the 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 tail and then the head here what is it failing for um oh this is a nope wow what you, you guys i'm i am the worst so what, what? <laughs> there's a syntax error right. on uh, 47 though at the end no there isn't because it starts from here ah oh no i, I, get I have it, it formatted oh, yeah. really weirdly okay 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 um okay do we start over? I think I like really screwed this one up. I should just have shut my mouth. No, no, it's okay, man. This yeah. this is uh, part of the process. It's all right, all right. Yeah, this doesn't work. Let's 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 look at why. <laughs> let's look at why uh, why it doesn't work. So we're getting never out, never out. Uh, let's go back to the unique <laughs> or to the includes that we had That's before. The thing is, okay, the thing is if we use includes, we don't need an accumulator. And that was the that was the big difference. So if we use includes, let's take the accumulator out of the picture. And ah. here, uh, uh, oops, not includes. Here we're going to pass in the the tail, right? Mm -hmm. uh, in this case, we can just, base case, we can just return an empty array. So uh, we're not quite there yet, but this is basically the, uh -huh. the, the way that it would work. The tail will go here yeah. at the end. Um, okay, I have to fix this. Yeah, so we can kind of go backwards ball. through it. Yeah, so if tail already includes head, then... Um, can we walk through it step by step as we've got it right now? Let's do that. So yeah. from the beginning, yeah, we're taking in T and mm -hmm. we're lopping together all of the first values of T. Mm -hmm. and leaving yeah. just the last value. Uh, I can't remember which one it is, but there's another challenge where you can do, I think it's trim and trim left. You can do this sometimes if you can manage to recurse from the back, like rever from reverse, you don't need an accumulator. Yeah, we had that uh, that one. Oh, did well. you? Okay. Yeah. This is the same thing here. You don't need an accumulator because we're going backwards. So... Mm -hmm. Uh, it's a little weird and, and abnormal in that way, but if you read it, we're saying uh, we're using includes, and we're saying is is any value of head uh, is is any is is t is tail in any value of head, and mm -hmm. if it is, then we can just skip it. Like we're yeah. not going to do anything, so we're going to return and recurse, continue recursing on head. Yeah, on of what is left. On what is yeah. left in the big, yeah, like yeah. because we're going backwards through the array, so we'll re we'll recurse through on what is left, and if it is a unique value, which is which is basically what this line is saying, is it is it it's basically saying is it a unique value, mm -hmm. uh, is it not a unique value? I guess is what it means. Yeah. Then, if it is, if that's the case, then we do want it. We want to include it, but we're going to include it at the end. And yes. we'll put it in here. Now, where I think this will fail is if we, uh, if we're expecting them in a certain order. So, like, let's say I put the one, uh, let's say I put the one here. To uh, no, this is going to be. Uh, let's just do uh, one a. Yeah. Let's do this. <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay. So where this will break down, I think, is that. Oh no, it's not. It's going to work. Okay. Never mind. I was going to say that it wouldn't show those values at the end, but it does. So, okay, a nice. little rocky road to get yeah. here. <laughs> we saw the nope already. Uh, but, yeah, that's... 
that's unique. Uh, it in, it involves includes, and by the way, includes. This has gone over in the includes video. Includes requires equal, which is also a different sort of thing. And uh, equal is like a whole can of worms in itself. So, yeah. <laughs> turns out doing these kinds of checks in TypeScript is extremely complicated, and that's what equal equal is like. A uh, I'll bite. It uses like a array. Uh, it, it checks values using uh, generic functions. Actually, it's real scary. Uh, don't <laughs> don't save. Let's not worry about that. So that's unique. Any other thoughts on this one? Well, now that we've got it, it makes sense. <laughs> yeah, but we, we we need to find another word for hat because I was confused. I didn't. Uh, yeah, I uh, mean, we could say like. Uh, we could say the hats. Uh, <laughs> like, hats. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think it it would be like heads. Would probably. Be <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Uh, beginnings. Um, yeah. Well, that's what the comment section is for. If anyone has an idea, please let us know. Okay. Well, thanks again, guys. Yep. You too.